It's crazy how there's like a whole city built around this giant this giant mat. Now the question is, was the city already here? And he just kind of changed it into his image? Or did he build it? Uh, my money is that uh, he built it. Because I just can't imagine... Well, okay, I was going to say I can't imagine a city being on Little Planet, but then there's Stardust Speedway. Not giving him the chance. This time I was able to do it with the first try. Why? I should have just went for the jump and ignored that bad hit. down there? How do I get to that? I mean, I think it's a little late for me to get to it now, but I'm just curious as to how. Oh uh, yeah, I knew it. With that one, you basically had to like get the angle right. Damn it!
No! Oh! Oh wait, that can't crush me? Okay, there we go. I like. I would still like to be able to get up here, though. All right, here we are. We made it to the boss. I don't know why I was just standing around. Again, this is another boss that's much easier with Sonic. Since he has a higher jump height than Knuckles. That we are now inside the Titanic Monarch. You know what's crazy about this place too is that it is like I'm pretty sure it's like ten times bigger than the Death Egg robot. And that robot was pretty big. Well, I like to call it the chapel because of the glass stained, uh, or the mosaic glass reminiscent of, like, the glasses that you see at, um, at a church, or a chapel, or a temple, whatever you want to call it. Wow, I fell! Of course, of course I wasn't going to be able to damage it. Try to finish this <coughs> as Super Sonic. <coughs> I mean, it would definitely make the boss much easier, but will I be good enough to have enough rings to, you know, finish the fight or like get to the fight with Super Sonic? And that's the thing: will I be able to finish the fight with Super Sonic? Because if I run out of rings. Yeah, if I run out of rings in that boss, that's it. I'm basically screwed. Oh. 
61 I'm that's pretty good I'm not gonna lie question is will I be able to hold on to you I gotta make sure I don't die I got this shield to protect me for now and help me collect much more rings okay yeah that was just me being dumb What? Wait, 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 what? Don't tell me. Oh, I see. Alright, there's one more. It should be the final area we need to go to. Oh my god, there goes my protect- Oh my god, I have to do this whole section again. Ah, there go all my rings! So much for finishing this uh, Super Sonic, but whatever. I guess I'm just gonna have to take on the boss, just like how I did with Knuckles. Hopefully, I don't die as many times as I did with him. Yeah. <laughs> 
Well, these tails was able to get the hit in. Wow, there goes my rings! And I think... Yep, that's what I figured. Oh, I guess right. Oh, why? <sighs> oh, good. I think we'll get rings here. We got a fair amount of rings. Should end it honestly. Oh my god, how many more hits? I think there's one more. Yep, there we go. But that's not the end, because we got all the emeralds. Like the Phantom Ruby t took us somewhere else. It's a heavy king. What's he doing? It looks like he betrayed Eggman. We're both fighting for the power of the ruby. It's up to us to stop him. So yeah, here's a true final boss as uh, for Sonic Mania. This only happens if, uh, of course, you could get all seven emeralds and defeat the Titanic Monarch. So you, if you actually notice, the, if the hardball, the heavy key attacks actually do damage supersonic but not Eggman and that just shows you just how strong the heavy king powered up with the ruby is but you gotta remember not a lot of not a lot of enemies are able to actually directly damage supersonic Back up, dude.
So this is the egg reverie zone. I gotta say, the this place is so weird. I, I don't even know what this platform is that we're like. It gives me a chance to stand. I'm gonna die. Yeah, that's the end. Ah. have to defeat both of these guys unfortunately I will fight for control of the Phantom Ruby ah I love the fun the theme for this boss fight. dash which takes up three ah yeah so supersonic does have a dash in this game and you gotta be careful because it does consume a fair amount of rings honestly like I wouldn't even use it all that much if I were you it's not really all that useful well, I mean or at least I don't know how to use it right I guess but you just end up losing like I think it costs you like 10 rings just to use it. Like you're just... Oh my god. Ah! 
God damn, how many more hits can that stupid robot take? I know it's powered up with the Phantom Ruby, so it's stronger, but god damn. Oh, there we go. So the king is down, just take down Eggman, and he's down too. Like the Phantom Ruby reacted to the emeralds and opened up a portal. Okay, and so that was Sonic, or at least Sonic's run of Sonic Mania. All in all, thoughts, this game is really good. I just, there's just no denying it, it's really good. There's a reason why everyone just praised this game when it came out, and it's just because it's such a good return to form with the classic Sonic games in the modern era. I mean, the visuals are good, the music is amazing, even though like this game doesn't really bring back a lot of new levels, it does add enough of a twist on the old ones to kind of like make them fresh, you know? The bosses are pretty good. I like the fact that they really followed up with the you unlock an extra final boss if you collect all the seven emeralds of Sonic. Cause it wasn't until the last game of the Genesis era of Sonic games where getting all seven Chaos Emeralds led to a true final boss. All the other ones you just unlock Super Sonic. And yeah, actually even in the first one you don't even unlock anything, you just get a different a slightly different ending. But, yeah, this this game is really good, totally would recommend it, especially if you're like new to the series, this is another good starter game to go off of. It just basically has the best of all the classic Sonic games, so it's a good place to start to learn how to play Sonic, and even if you're... Yeah, and it's also a good game. Like I said, this is basically just Sonic Generations, but for 2D. Like, strictly 2D. As you revisit all the classic Sonic stages that we've seen before. And... And it plays just like the classic Sonic games. Like, exactly like them. Um, you know, it's not like Generations where... Uh, classic Sonic played a, just... A little different and it was only because of the engine that they used the hedgehog engine just wasn't made to replicate the Genesis physics and even like other 2d games like the advanced games and the rush games they're 2d but they're also a little different they don't have the same feel as the Genesis game but totally would I totally would recommend this game. It's amazing. And it's cheap too. And it's everywhere. In fact, like, I, I said it, right? That you can play this game on Netflix and on mobile. Although, I've heard people say that if you play it on mobile, it's kind of hard to play because of the, I guess, the touch controls. Which I don't blame them. I, this game is just better played on a console, in my opinion. So, yeah. If you have the chance, pick up this game. 
I definitely get it on sale. Like, when it goes on sale, I think it's only like five bucks. So, yeah, this totally will recommend this game to you guys. Yeah, and with that, that's the end of my playthrough of Sonic Mania. I mean, I know. Yeah, I mean, that, that's pretty much it. There's no one else to pick. I already said I'm not doing the DLC this time. I'm not doing the DLC now. Maybe in the near future I'll do it. But yeah, that's Sonic Mania. So, thank you guys for watching. And. We'll definitely continue this with the next game in the franchise and with the next game we're actually very close to finishing the marathon I know a marathon has been four years in the making but man at least we're almost done you know I'm almost done there's I can see the finish line I'm basically like home stretch now but thank you guys for watching and definitely look forward to the next one.